Hey everyone, at this moment I'm looking at these great library Anima and specifically the AR LLM module. And this is a module with which you can run a Llama 370 billion model on a single 4GB GPU and with the help of layered inference. And this is the only code that you will need. As you can see, the, all the lines are very standard. You first need to install AR LLM, obviously and then uh, import this auto model this is this is where all the magic happens and so you then define your model with auto model from pre trained and pass your llama 370b and input text this is actually the text prompt and input tokens is where you are tokenizing your input text uh, with the help of model the tokenizer and you pass the all the standard uh, parameters here return tensor return uh, attention mask truncation max length padding etc so with this uh, the input prompt would be tokenized and then the output from the model is just model.generate and to that you pass your input tokens and max new tokens use cache uh, return dict in generate true all right this is other parameters and the final output is just you print out your uh, your uh, uh, the decoded version of the output from the model. So this was your output from the model, and you just apply tokenizer dot decode. All right, that's it. That's all the code you need, and this code will run exactly fine on a four GB single GPU. And all the magic is because of a concept called layered inference. Let's go to their GitHub repo. All right, I'm back in their GitHub repository, and uh, many of these uh, statements and the documentation is in some other language, non-English. I don't know. This probably is Chinese. I don't know. So what the main thing is that uh, they are saying that during inference, the original model will first be decomposed and saved layer-wise. Please ensure there is sufficient disk space in the Hugging Face cache directory. And this is the main thing that layer wise inference is essentially the divide and conquer approach. And this is without the whole, this inference is happening here without using quantization, distillation, pruning, or other model compression techniques. So the question is how this is happening with only 4 GB of GPU. So let's understand that. So first thing to note is that large language models are large that is because they occupy a lot of memory mainly due to their structure containing many layers. An LLM starts with an embedding projection layer followed by numerous transformer layers all identical. A 70B model has as many as 80 layers but during inference each layer is independent relying only on the output of the previous layer. So therefore, after running a layer, its memory can be released, keeping only the layer's output. Based on this concept, this particular library, ARLLM, has implemented layered inference. And how this happens is that during inference in a transformer-based LLM, layers are executed sequentially. The output of the previous layer is the input to the next only one layer executes at a single time. Therefore, it is completely unnecessary to keep all layers in GPU memory. We can load whichever layer is needed from disk when executing that layer, do all the calculations then, and then completely free the memory after that calculation is done. So this way, the GPU memory required per layer is only about the parameter size of one transformer layer. That is, just like I was saying, a 70 billion model can have 80 layers. So in this case, for each calculation, I will need only one divided by 80th of the full model. That is around maybe 1.6 GB. So this is the very fundamental technique that this library uses to do super fast inference. And the other techniques uh, that uh, this uh, ARLLM library also implements are like um, flash attention to deeply optimize CUDA memory access to achieve multi-fold speedups, then shard model files by layer, also use the meta device feature provided by Hugging Face Accelerate when you load a model via meta device the model data is not actually read in 
only the code is loaded so memory usage is zero and uh, this library also provides option for doing quantization with a compression parameter so there is a compression parameter and uh, supported options are like 4 bit 8 bit uh, and also some blockwise quantization and they have given a graph here for explaining how the compression works for inferencing speed now also let's quickly talk about the negatives of using this library so latency of your inference will be huge when you are using disk input output based inferencing because accessing data from slower storage that is disk is superbly slow compared to accessing data from your gpu memory that is when all layers are kept in the gpu vram because in this case that is uh, while using this library you are accessing from the disk input output device so you will always going to be bottlenecked by the ssd read speeds paging does not help here if the ssd reads at 3 gigabytes per second and the model is around 70 gb then you will wait 23.3 seconds for the generation of just one token that's an abnormally high amount of waiting time for a single token because for each token you need a full pass only mixture of exports maybe of helps here because with mixture of exports you reduce the amount of weights that are needed to be loaded for the computation of one token but not to forget this library is a great concept proof of concept here and uh, probably this library will be very much usable with apple silicon because uh, in apple silicon with bus speeds around 100 to 800 gigabits per second shared system and gpu memory and paging from ssd to ram can be offloaded to whatever equivalent of a dma controller at that point the bottleneck is probably the read speed of the ssd which may be like uh, 5 to 10 gigabits per second now another quick question that may come to mind while using this library is that while inferencing can be optimized like this with layering can training of large language models work similarly on a single gpu and the simple answer is no because inferencing only needs the output of the previous layer when executing the next transformer layer so layered execution with limited data is possible but training a large language model requires more data the training process first computes the forward propagation to get the output of every layer and tensor then does back propagation to compute the gradient of every tensor and gradient calculation needs to save the results of previous forward layers so layered execution does not reduce memory 